CataractCoach.com, angle closure with Cornel Dima. How will you complete this tough case and restore the angle anatomy? Now, if you look here at the light reflex, the Purkinje image on the cornea, you can tell there's some corneal edema. Look at that reflex. Not so good. Now, this patient has some angle closure glaucoma issues as well as now corneal edema from that. And this patient was unable to get a good peripheral iridotomy done with the YAG laser in the clinic. And so, you know what? Let's just solve this issue. Let's make the patient pseudophagic. Now, we've heard from Johnny Gayden. You know, you listen to the Cataract Coach podcast, right? What? You don't listen to the Cataract Coach podcast? You're missing out. We interviewed Johnny Gayton on one of those podcasts, and he was the one who first described that the best treatment for shallow AC and narrow angles or angle closure is to make the patient pseudophagic. And I agree. Look at this here. Now, in a patient like this, you're going to remove a cataractus lens that's four and a half to five millimeters thick in anterior posterior dimension. And you can replace it with a very thin IOL that's a millimeter or so in thinness. And what's going to happen? Well, you're going to get a much more deep AC, a deeper AC. You're going to restore angle anatomy. That angle is going to go from closed or very narrow to very normal and very deep. And that shallow AC is going to go to a normal AC. So in a case like this, you certainly want to do an IOL. You want to do the cataract surgery. Now again, look at the cornea there. It's still a demodus. Now here's the magic of this video. By the end of the video, because of the normal IOP during surgery, the cornea is going to start to clear up. Yeah, even during a 5 or 10 minute case. Now surgeon's going to go in here with a FACO probe. Let's see, chop on the other hand. Nice chop. Look at that. Easy breezy. Chop down the middle. Some skills. Good job. Faco chop, chop, and more chop, and we'll get this case done in no time. And as you can see, as we get this cataract out, obviously you're going to deepen the AC, and that's going to solve the issues. So I really am a big fan, especially for a cataractist patient or a patient, let's say, over the age of 60 or so. you got that 75-year-old patient coming into your clinic with 20, 40 cataracts, and you look, and it's a really shallow anterior chamber. Don't do a YAG laser peripheral iridotomy. Make them pseudophagic. Now, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material. And remember about our podcast. I just told you it's the best podcast in all of ophthalmology. An hour a week, every Sunday, and we'll teach you all the secrets. No, no, I'm serious. We will teach you the secrets to success in your career. But if you want to be mediocre, okay, just, just ignore it. That's okay. Let's go back to our case. Now, cortex removal here with the IA probe. That should be pretty routine. Clean this up pretty nicely. Already, look at the cornea. Look at the Purkinje light reflex. I mean, those amazing endothelial cells, once you quit torturing them with ultra-high pressure, they start to perform pretty quickly. And this is pretty normal to see the cornea clear up while you do the case. So again, cortex removal here, get all that out. And again, the cornea now, all of a sudden, looks pretty clear. So in a case like this, yeah, definitely, the best treatment for narrow angles, angle... You know, especially in the cataractus age patient, is to make them pseudophagic. Remember, pseudophagic is a gift. Yes, it is better to give than receive, but still, it's still a gift. Here's the IOL. You can see, obviously, the IOL is much, much thinner than the cataractus lens that was removed. Put that into position. Get it, set it up pretty nicely. Remove all the viscoelastic. Yeah, very important. Remove the viscoelastic. Let's seal up the incisions. Fix that little bit of iris prolapse there. And we'll call this a day. That's a beautiful case. And this really resolved all of the patient's issues. And I definitely recommend you check out that Cataract Coach podcast. Again, every Sunday, everywhere where you find podcast services, you will enjoy learning the secrets to your success.